What map is this and where am I? Alright, this is small crash zone, which I don't know that I've ever played before. Because, let's be real, I'm not exactly playing Tier 4 that often. But, we got these new IJN cruisers and this is the only one I've gotten out of a crate. So let's check it out. First game in it. Where do people spawn on this map? I have no idea. Uh, I assume down here? Maybe not. How long does it take to get spotted? I don't know. Uh, but we're gonna go down here. I mean, the game is still the same regardless of the tier. Here. Find a flank, go out on it, have better concealment, shoot boats. <laughs> like, what else do you need to know? But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious. There's my out. That's how I'm gonna get out of here when I get spotted. Always want to have one of those in mind. No destroyers, so I should probably have the best concealment of any ship in this match and I am of course using the always broken Azure Lane Otago which basically just makes every IG and cruiser OP right right I mean I heard that these are like floating citadels and uh, we will find out if they are oh so they come from over there Carl, sure. That thing's got spicy AP. We gotta watch out for that, but we're gonna kite out this way to our exit and maybe spot. We do have a bit of a crossfire set up here. I mean, basically, in cruisers and low tiers, they all stink. <laughs> so, it doesn't really matter. Like, everything can destroy everything in just a couple salvos. So the basic idea is don't get shot, always have your way out, and uh, don't get focused. So that's what I'm going to do here and make sure that I get around this corner a little bit and get a couple salvos off. Oh look, Azerlene Otago doing what she does, which is start fires on everything. Are we going to get any tor pits over there? I don't think so. A gun. Oh, another one. Maybe everybody's getting this ship out of crates. Uh, I have got the, uh, what's the one after this? Is that Gokasa? I don't know. The one that comes after this I got, but I haven't played it yet either. I figured let's just put in a few games in this, like four or five, and then I'll play that one. I don't know if I'm going to have time or, well, I probably won't get any other ones. I'm certainly not going to spend money on them, but... We can always get him in the next update for free. Anywho, this is gonna stand spotted. Um, is our battleship alive back there? He hasn't really moved. But I think this guy maybe forgot that I'm over here, so let's just go out here and set up a crossfire. And we will find out if these are, in fact, floating citadels with a salvo of AP. Um,. Yes. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> they are floating citadels. Okay. Um, <clears throat> basically, I mean, this is low tier. We can uh, get away with all sorts of dumb stuff. That, like this guy. He, I don't know. Is he even aware that I'm here? I don't know. Maybe he's just so focused in on the other side that I kind of get a few shots out here. Maybe we can torp him as well. The torps on these do seem to reload pretty quickly. Uh, I am kind of curious to try the higher tier ships of these when I eventually get there because, you know, they might get good at like tier 7, but you never know. Anyway, more AP and another citadel. So yes, floating citadels. Uh, probably going to have to switch back to HE here though because they are paying attention to me and they are shooting HE at me, which is fine. Because I am using Azerlane Otago, and they probably aren't. So not only do I start fires, my HE does more damage. Wow. <laughs> I don't know that this uh, commander ever would have come back, even if she hadn't been naughty. But uh, I'm glad that I got her, because uh, she's definitely one of the four commanders of the apocalypse, along with Azerlane, Dunkirk, and... Uh, Kinda Ivan be delightful. Mm, who else falls in there? 
I don't know. Uh, well, kind of New Jersey too, right? They're all uh, they're all pretty darn powerful. Um, I think this Carl sure is AFK now, even though I swear they were moving earlier because I was tracking them with my torpedoes and it said they were moving, but it looks like they're AFK now. So I'm going to attempt to get the double strike on this Texas and this Carl sure. Surely we will get some fires going on this Texas. That's almost a given. And we'll get our torps out here in a moment. Yes, there are fires. Thank you, Azurlay Natago. How broken is Otago? And we will put out, oh look, more fires, yes, yes. And it's not like the Texas is gonna spend all that time to turn its guns towards me. This is why we create crossfires. And it helps that uh, this crosser is AFK. So I've got two fires going on the Texas. I want to get this Carl sure low and I'm checking out the Texas health here. I think I'm going to get one more salvo here. Try and get a salvo off on this Texas to secure the kill. And then we will switch back to this Carl sure. Uh, yeah, that is our fire on Texas, I think. So fire out and uh, no dice, but we still have the fire going. So. Svetlana. Svetlana <laughs> gets it, but it was Svetlana burned it out, so you know, it's it's fair. Fair is fair. Besides, we still have all the position to ourselves right now. Our team, again. I'm not seeing anything bad here. This is low tier. This is where people are learning the game. Our team is so far behind me that I'm going to be able to get this carrier. Uh, assuming be, there's nobody even going to be close to being able to shoot it. And I think these have good AA, right? Is there any good AA against carriers? <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. I mean, we just got to try and turn towards these torps. Yes, I'm aware that this is a uh, Sirov, right? No, the, the what's the tier three? The, the Cosmolets or whatever, which basically means anything will citadel it. I think my secondaries can't, but my HE certainly should be able to. Um, though, oh, there we go. Though, I don't know if my AP can. Maybe, maybe it'll just overpin, but let's just see what the HE does here. Does this have improved pin on, does this have like a one fifth or whatever? Ooh, I don't even know if these uh, small, if these uh, lower tier boats do. I know that the, uh, Higher tier ones do, but honestly, I haven't really been paying attention too much to these because I don't get them anymore because I'm a bad boy, baby. So I've just got to grind them out like everybody else. All right. I don't have to worry about whatever battleship that is. <laughs> Look, more HE Citadels. This is great. I don't have to worry about that battleship right now because he's so far away. I'm just going to focus this uh, carrier and it should only take like, what, a couple more salvos? Okay, I will say that was a bad shot. Let's see about this one. Two shells. Two shells out of six. That's 33% accuracy. Where are these shells going? <laughs> All right, shatter. Oh my, I didn't think we could shatter even on this thing. I thought we just, it was a floating citadel everywhere. One shell hit. Good God, maybe it's a good thing I put out these torps because I think they're gonna get it right before my guns do. Two more shatters. Oh man, low tier is weird. <laughs> like who knows how, those shells just went through the water or went through the ship. All right, whatever. <laughs> All right, so the question is, yes. <laughs> I was gonna say the question is, can the Congo sink the BB? And it does, so. Our carrier is going to be harassing them. Our battleship. I think that guy's AFK. Isn't that the guy who's been there the entire game? So we don't really have to worry about him. We just have to worry about our carrier trying to yoink this. But, you know, as I said before, as Elena Tago should have no issues with this. We will simply get some fires and then get some more fires. Uh, I said we will get some fires and then some more fires, right? 
more fires because this is as your lane of Tago. Don't make me look like a liar. What the heck is going on? Well, we're only getting two shell hits again. Ah, fix your game, Ouija. There we go. Two fires. And surely they're going to put that out. I'm telling these guys to get back because I want this Kraken. Ah, they're not going to listen. But I can try. Is this guy going to focus me? We just need to get one more fire on this guy. All right, there's one. So, assuming that the carrier doesn't kill him, we should have this. Uh, maybe if I aim, if I get one more fire on him, that's almost a done deal. Oh, he's firing at me. I don't even care if he actually sings. Okay, double fire. Dodge the torps. All right, that's going to do it. Hit the horn because that's going to be the Kraken. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we did here. Let's see. Uh, yes. Azurlena Tago. How baroque and 3100 in tier four. <laughs> ah, that ship's baroque.